Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with this beautiful piece of batik. I cut a bunch of scrappy pre-cuts from this fabric and I sold them in my most recent flash sale that I have uh, pretty much every weekend now. I am going to be cutting some more because I have them on eBay now and I'm also going to be cutting some for myself and I'm going to show you what to do with them. Well, at least one thing you can do. What I love about batiks like this is when you cut, you get some blocks that are mostly pink, some purple, some aqua, lots of yellow. It's just really cool and it's a good way to get like a lot of different colors in your work by just buying one kind of fabric. Yes, my mother's TV is very loud. You can go to eBay right now and grab a pack of 16 of these scrappy pre-cuts or more. If there are more available, please be aware that they might be sold out by the time you get there, depending when you watch this video. So just go look in the description box. I have the direct link to the listing. And if I can remember to mark it as sold out, I will. But you can go to the listing and it'll tell you if there's any left. And if you don't see any listing at all, that means it's very old and eBay has taken it down. I think they take it down like three months after it sells, something like that. All right, let me cut and I'll be right back. Just wanted to say that in the intro, I mentioned that I have flash sales every weekend. I didn't mention that. That's exclusive for my patrons and YouTube members. So if you're interested in that, you get lower prices on all the fabric that I sell and you get first chance to grab what you want. There's information in the description box down below. So these are the ones that I have on eBay right now. And you can see that, you know, that no two really look alike because of the way, you know, the colors are all over the place. So it's really cool. And they're about five inches square. And I really wanted to do an example using this, but I only have four left and I don't want to use up a pack. I want, you know, one of you guys to get it if you want. If you're interested, you might want to pause and go by now and then uh, take a chance that you're going to like what I'm about to do. <laughs> I'm going to use this print, which was a scrap that I had, and I only have eight. There's 16 in here, but I want to see what the final size is, so I need to start out with approximately a 5x5 five five like this. So we're going to just use this and pretend it's this print. What I like about this is you're going to get multiple colors, so we're going to go with this, though. Okay, even this print has color changes so I'm glad so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take let's see I'm going to take four I'm going to find four that are not like you know really alike you'll have more choices um, in that other pack because they're really not alike well maybe okay this might be a little bit darker and this one has more aqua in it. Okay, I'm taking four. Let me move the others out. I am just going to cut from one side to the other randomly and wonky. It's going to end up looking like a mosaic tile but with big pieces of tile. And I'm going to use black for the grout because I happen to have some scrap black sitting here. And it also can look like stained glass, but with stained glass, I don't know what you call the black lines. I think it was originally like lead, and I don't know what they call it. So I'm calling it tiles and grout. And I'm going to just cut at an angle from the bottom to the top. Like that. Now I'm going to put these back together, but with a piece of black in between. So I need some strips. Now the strips don't need to be uh, any wider than the pieces and it's you know just a coincidence that this black piece of strip which also is batik. This is batik. Did I mention that? Yeah. This is also batik but it doesn't have to be. You can use any cotton. This strip is just a little bit longer so I love that. So I'm going to eyeball because I really don't want the grout lines to um, all be the same. 
So I'm just going to eyeball like maybe an inch and I can even taper. I actually would have liked to taper more than that. It's a little bit wider on this end than this end. And we're going to take one of this color and then I'm going to take I'm going to take this one off the top here and I'm just going to put it under just so there's a little bit of a different color combination. Doesn't show that much with this fabric, but that's okay. We're still going with it. So we're going to end up like with a line of black like this. I have some previous videos, uh, mosaic uh, videos, and I will put the playlist link down below. I even had to watch some of my own videos, which I never do, just to see what the hell it was that I did. So I'm going to sew this like this. I'm going to just move this one aside and I'm going to flip this one over the black strip and I'm going to sew about a quarter of an inch. And wonky is not only allowed, but it's encouraged. Well, you know what? I wasn't going to do assembly line method, but yes, I am. So let me cut a couple more black strips. We'll do four blocks at a time. I haven't done this yet. I'm just doing it for the first time with you guys. So let me, uh, oh, that's way too wide on the bottom, but that's okay. That's a little narrower. Okay, I'm all over the place. That's, that's allowed too. So let's see. I'm going to put this one with this one. How about we do that? Oh, am I going to get confused now? Maybe it's better if I complete that block first for the sake of the video because I want to remember what other one I'm supposed to be putting on here. I'm just going to finger press at this point. Batiks are so awesome. Okay, so that's what my block was supposed to be. It can be a little easier if you trim this just along the line of your, you know, your edge nothing has to be perfect because you want wonky and they're going to be trimmed after the fact. So now I'm just going to put this on here and it looks weird. Just line your straight edge up. I'm going to actually turn it this way. Like that. All right, now I'm going to do these others. I'm going to actually leave this wide like that. We'll just see what that ends up looking like. I am going to do assembly line. I'm going to put this piece over here on the other side so I know it's what's going to go with that guy. Next. And this guy. Let's snip first, and then I'll finger press, open, and let me, let me put one that matches, and you can use either side. If your batik looks about the same on each side, you can. Now, see, this isn't right because it doesn't make a square, so I guess it was this way. And here I go. And I'm going to open up the next one. Trim. Just follow that straight edge. And let's see that. Yeah, that one's a little bit of a different color. I wanted so much to use the other blocks, but I don't want to take one away from you guys. One more. It goes this way. Ooh, nice contrast there. Oh, let me trim. And trim. And that's going to go like that. Snip and snip and open. Finger press. Open. Ooh, finger press, look. Pretty cool. All right, so we have four of these guys. 
Now what we're going to do, you could stop there if you want to, you know, just have it be like a two patch. But now I'm going to cut in the opposite direction. And I'm going to just stack these without too much concern. Ooh, maybe I could even, no, it doesn't matter. Either way I go, I'm going to stack. So it doesn't matter if you're doing it this way or that way. But I'm just going to have it be, you know, with the, the first cut all lined up. Like, I don't want to do one this way. So, like this. Now I want to cut in this direction. And I'm just going to cut any old way I feel like it. Now we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to take one from this side, and I'm going to take one from the other side. And we're going to sew those together with black in the middle. Now that's quite a bit alike, but that's okay. So I need some more black strips, and I did some more narrow than others. And same thing, I'm going to send this through, and I'm going to take one more from that same side and send that through. Open these up, and one at a time I'm going to attach the other side. Let me see if I can get maybe a little bit of a different color combo. Ooh, ooh, okay. Oops, I do like to trim the black first, but you don't have to. One more. Now this is really not as mosaic looking as I like. I like it to look like there were tiny pieces in there, tiny pieces of broken glass all glued together. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to just keep the, you know, things big. But what you could do is you could continue cutting, like you could cut here and add another strip. Cut here, add another strip. You can just keep doing that and you can make your grout lines more narrow. Um, I'm trying to see, like, you know, this is narrower right there, this top one. You can also go check out my Mosaic Blocks videos and use some of those techniques, but using the batiks. And I just, um, you know, haven't done this in a while, so I just wanted to jump in and get my feet wet. I think what I'm going to do is put four of these together now. And we need a strip of black in between. And I'm thinking maybe even a little bit wonky for that too. And then we can trim and have one block at the end. So let's do that. I'm gonna trim this a little bit wonky. And let's put this here, send this guy through, and let's send one of the other ones through. Let's just uh, not be too fussy. We'll just go like this. You only have to put the black strip on one of the pieces because then you're just going to add another one there. You don't need to do it on all the pieces. Well, I'm dealing with four pieces, so I only needed to do it to two pieces. So I'm going to turn this. I like that. Let's send this baby through. And don't know exactly what I want. I like that. Okay, I'm going to open these up. And now I'm going to need a longer black strip because we're going to be sewing all this together. <gasps> I kind of like it, except I'm not thrilled about the, you know, it just looking like a bunch of X's. But, uh, let's see, we could have changed that, but we're going to go with it. You can do any kind of design that you want. Just wanted a straight line there. 
And you can see that's not all matchy-matchy, which I'm glad. Okay, I'm just going to sew those two together. I'm running out of space on my card. No, no. The other one's full, too. Almost done. Oops. <laughs> I need to add black there. You needed to stop me. Were you yelling my name? Hang on. I needed a longer strip, and I just cut, you know, lengthwise. All right, let's put this here. Getting used to finger pressing has opened up my world. Okay. Let me go press this and trim it. I was able to trim this to nine and a quarter inches, and I really like it. So it took me just four of my scrappy pre-cuts to make a, let's call it a nine inch block. And you know, this would be really good for like a tote bag, huh? I really like it. I really do. You could also make some blocks like this with other batiks, you know, and have just different, just different batiks. I am going to do some more like this for you guys, but I wanted to hurry up and do something while I had these sets of fabric up for grabs. So go get yourself one and uh, I will be back with more soon. I have just two minutes left on the card, so I'm going to say bye now. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.